Hey guys, Thomas the Silver Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review Fantastic Beast and where to find them. So apparently this is a prequel to the initial uh, Harry Potter series, and I follow this uh, wizard who has lost track of his Fantastic Beast, and he's uh, pursued by this other wizard, uh, the female to his left, who is uh, initially looking for something out of the ordinary, I would presume. She sort of sees him scouring about looking for this beast that escaped. It's sort of like a money hoarder kind of creature. He sort of bumps into the character to his right, uh, that other gentleman, the bigger fellow there. And uh, after that, he sort of gets snagged into this adventure of finding Fantastic Beast and pursuing to put them back into <coughs> this sort of uh, other universe that just happens to be in a suitcase. And while this is going on, there's some sort of spirit like creature. Uh, that sort of goes into a human uh, in this one, you know, based on the rumors that, that were told throughout the movie that it would be through a child. We find out that this uh, spirit-like creature possesses someone a bit older, and through that person's pain and suffering, uh, they are allowed to do cause chaotic uh, stuff to happen. So these four characters now come together after sort of roping in some of the other creatures that managed to escape to now uh, find this human slash creature and then deal with it. And we have this other other guy, he's like in the wizard council, he's like, oh, I want to free him, or I want to use him to, uh, to find the real creature, but he didn't actually know that that was the guy instead. Uh, and then, lo and behold, they sort of surround the boy, and then they, I guess they evaporate him. Um, that was a particularly odd choice, but that is what they went for. And the majority of the movie we don't see, or at least hear them casting these spells for the most part until like the closer to the end with actually, you know, I don't know how it functions necessarily, you know, what, you know, what spells are in order to, uh, you have to name in order to actually do them. Uh, this movie implies that you can do teleportation without magic, and I haven't seen Harry Potter in a while, so I don't know if that's how it functions anymore, but uh, that is what it is. Uh, and then, after the boys of operation, they say the wizard council or whatever, they say that they have to uh, make everyone forget, and then that includes the guy. Who the magicians, after uh, sort of evaporating mem his memory, decide to give him a little bit of a helping hand after everything that they've done. So this movie is a bit on the longer side. It's a pretty close. I think it's about two hours. Um, you know, you have to. You know, in a movie like this, you have to kind of go with the title Fan Fantastic Beasts, plural, so you have to see, you know, a wide variety of creatures, and that is implied. Um, the main character was, you know, sort of just, he sort of pushed people aside, and, like, whenever he responds, he's usually like, kind of quieter looking around, or, you know, whenever he does have to say anything, he's usually, like, very direct about it, I would say. Um, and he just sort of complies and follows up with the human. And, you know, 
there isn't much ha that happens between them except you know they they kind of explore that other world um but there isn't much of a connection and then at the end they say that they're friends uh, uh i don't know i can't really say that there was enough there to imply that uh, as well as the potential romance between the Baker guy and the uh, girl to his, the female to his right, uh, who can read minds. Uh, you know, their relationship sort of just keeps spiraling forward. Uh, not much going on. I mean, she's constantly reading his mind, so she knows what's going on in there. Uh, anyways, um, you know, there are a few issues here, but that's, you know, that's to be expected. I still enjoyed the movie, though, overall. Uh, I felt how they handled at least the creature aspect was interesting. Uh, the whole secondary part of the movie falls apart a little bit with this whole extra uh, creature and the magic guy who's like sort of wanting to free him and then ends up this character ends up being someone else um i have no clue who that character is i guess you would have to read the book if there is a book in order to understand who that character is i mean i didn't there wasn't enough time with him you just sort of see him change into a character played by Johnny Depp and then he gets taken away. I mean, he only gets like one line and I couldn't even hear it. Like it happened so quick, I wasn't even paying attention and I missed it. Um, and that's sort of just how quick his appearance is in this movie. So I don't know if this will lead to a whole nother series of uh, follow-ups. <sighs> I kind of, I really, I'm already kind of on the, I don't care if they follow this up or not. Um, I mean, with the amount of reboots there are, and you know, this is a prequel, so I wouldn't put that in the same boat, but I mean, Harry Potter's had its run. I think, I think it'd be fair to give something new a shot. I mean, if you want to watch this movie, I'd still give it a 7 out of 10, but... You know, the caveat that, uh, you know, it's passable, I guess. Uh, but, you know, I would, I'd still rather see something, some more stuff that's original. And, you know, of course, in this movie, you have to get that one reference to, like, the Harry Potter series. Of course, you got to mention Dumbledore at least once. Um, you know... I'm a little. The only thing I'd be, I said, I would say, I'm a little bit surprised in is that Harry Potter isn't in the actual title, but J.K. Rowling's name is there, so people are going to recognize this. I'm pretty sure people have, and this movie, I'm sure it'll do fine. When no surprises there, you know, this is a new title. I mean, it is, but I mean, it's a title by a recognized person so it's I think it's gonna do just fine if it hasn't done already uh you know this isn't something I made this isn't syndicate x so it's it's fine uh so with that being said this has been Tom Sisoli Jr aka Mustache Tom and I'll see you guys next time